This is on to um, the third of our still range called Sweet Coppin, so named after one of the two sweetest apple varieties that we grow in the orchard, that and Sweet Alfred. Um, as you can see, we've got more gorgeous colours coming through. Um, as Mackie was saying, the apple varieties that we grow um, within those 17, we've got a broad range. So some are almost kind of dark, ready brown, others are much larger and paler in colour. So this is where, um, just like crushing grapes and wine, this is where these beautiful colours come from. So yeah. This is very fruity. Yeah, it's not solely made out of um, sweet cobbin. Uh, it's just a, those are the varieties that typically go into those ones. You need that higher residue at the start because when you're pulling up the fermenting earlier to some of the previous ones, you need that higher mm. higher sugar concentration to get the, the alcohol content in the cider. So but there still seems to be a bit of acidity in there. It's yeah, well definitely. Balanced. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need that um, to, to balance out. Otherwise, you're just going to live with a whole bunch of uh, fruit in there. Yeah, that one's, I was really happy with that one actually this year. Yeah, it's yeah. been very popular. Yeah. We actually use this as a base for our mold cider in the winter because it's got that natural high level of sugar content. Um, and yeah, we mix it with some cloves and cinnamon sticks and quite often a dash of brandy as well. A lot of brandy, Just to yeah. top it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, as well. Beautiful.